the science of consciousness really took off 30 years ago or so with Francis Crick and, and Christoph Koch. It sounds like you're saying that was the moment maybe when consciousness came back into the field of science. It sort of became a legitimate yeah. field of study. And, and philosophers have been involved with the science of consciousness from the beginning. And I think especially recently it's been generally recognized both by the scientists and by granting agencies that um, um, uh, the, uh, the, the techniques that philosophers learn um, of conceptual clarification and formulating the theories um, is really valuable for the science of consciousness. And so there are now a lot of joint projects. Um, Dave and I have a $3 million grant from the, we're two of the three directors of a $3 million grant from the Templeton World Charities Foundation to test the um, a difference between first order theories um, and higher order theories, the theories that I mentioned that say that you need a, another state about a state to make it conscious. Um, and so we, together with a bunch of scientists, have um, formulated um, experimental tests that we hope will decide between these. It's a so-called adversarial collaboration in which adversaries agree on um, uh, the kind of thing that might decide between them. So I want to come back to this question of why do we need philosophers to talk about consciousness? I mean, so I think it's a mix. I think all these issues on the frontier uh, are a mix of, of conceptual and empirical issues. So the, so the philosophers are at the conceptual level, the scientists are at yeah. the empirical. Well, no, I actually think that both are at both levels, but uh, the philosophers have special training in the conceptual part, so that gives us a certain edge there, but sometimes we're, we're wildly off on the conceptual things too. Um, and philosophers increasingly are, have, have a fairly good grasp of the empirical stuff too. So it's a, it's a collaborative thing. I'm on another grant on free will, f funded by some different foundations, which, have, uh, which has seven uh, philosophers and eight scientists, together deciding experiments on the springs of action. And uh, you know, increasingly, this is a, a thing that, um, uh, that philosophers realize they need to learn the science. And um, the scientists realize they need some um, uh, understanding of the philosophical issues, the way the things have been discussed in the past. And together they can do better than either separately.